Resident Evil Revelations. Last time, we, well, we had a dull mystery on our hands. No one could have lived through that. No. The stories of their resurrection are true. Then the setup that got Jill and Parker, it was all... Yeah, a trap. It's a trap. Yeah, I'd almost guarantee it. But Ryan, we'll go after Jill and Parker. Make your way to the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. Well, for some reason, the music almost sounds like it, it kind of reminds me of Batman. Uh, I guess, doesn't it? We'll be stuck here. But then again, this game has three um, talented composers: Kota Suzuki, Ichiro Komoto, and T Takashi Miura. All of which well, from Resident Evil 5, Zero, and Code Veronica, respectively. Ghosts of Eltro. Episode 3. And this one th is a flashback sequence. Oh, fun. One year ago, Terra Grigia. Huh. Oh, there's Morgan Lansdale, the commissioner. And there's Jessica and Parker. Still hurting, cadet? That right there is Raymond Vester. Still fight. At this point, he's a cadet of the FBC. Voiced by David Vincent. The city is finished. <laughs> I honestly thought he was voiced by somebody else. I thought he was Quentin Flynn. Nope, it's 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 David Vincent. Really? Yep. I can I, I can hear Richter Belmont in his voice. It's a hard to distinguish voice. Uh huh. Your efforts are. And. Morgan Lansdale, voiced by Michael McConaughey. Of course. Because Michael McConaughey is probably like one of the most distinguishable voices in anime. Jessica in game. Parker, come in. The facility has I do like how the fact that it did even they even rendered all the animations of the in-game cutscenes. Well, in terms of you know, quote unquote cutscenes. Um for the Console version too. Make sure they reach the heliport. They matched all the animations from the 3DS version for this one. They've started evacuation procedures here. Huh? O'Brien? Oh. oh. Hey. I'm the only one left, General Morgan. The BSAA you look so dopey. Out. I want you to know that the FBC is making a huge mistake. Yeah. You know, having to fry the city. We'll just stare awkwardly at each other. Then again, th there's slight delays, you know. But any further delays would simply cripple our cause. Surely you can understand that. I'm afraid I cannot. Obliterating the site by satellite is only a quick fix. We could lose crucial evidence. Using the satellite has already been Oh boy. We can clean up this map. I guess you've thought of everything. Even the FBC may not be able to cover its tracks on this one. <laughs> Let the heavens scorch the earth with justice. These unilateral solutions of yours will only create a new Veltro. Perhaps a dozen. Yes. There's so, basically, Lansdale... He's, he wants to profit from this terrorist attack, apparently. Let all those people die. Are you finished now, Director O'Brien? I definitely do not trust them. I don't trust Everyone, either of them. Your orders. Move into position. Raymond, with me. Yes, sir. But yeah, O'Brien was O'Brien was only here because Europe was urging Lansdale to allow him in. He came here with no support staff. Cause thing is, Lansdale, he wanted no European involvement in this matter at all. And now, it's time for an epic onslaught. Epic onslaught of some good old Ari. Yep, because we're gonna meet some old friends. Some good old friends of mine. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, uh, I'm, this, I'm gonna make my stand right here. Hunters! Hello! They look good! 
somewhat. Yeah. They, they page well. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Oh, watch this. Boof. But they're slightly weak to physical attack. No, they're very weak to physicals. A fully charged physical can almost instant kill them. How many are there? But yeah, Parker comes equipped with his government handgun and a P90 machine gun. Oh boy. I think that's what they're hoping. Well, you know, Jessica that she's actively helping us. Yeah. In this chapter, oddly compared to some of the other AI characters, the AI for Jessica seems kind of on par with Oh, oh. With uh, Sheva. Yeah, no, when you do melee attacks, you'd have invincibility frames. That's why I canceled that one early. So that I could actually uh Avoid that one's attack. I didn't know that. Yeah. I I didn't oh. think you actually had that much invincibility frame compared to. It's after you execute the attack. And, uh. and of course, they're if you hit him in the head, that's a critical hit. And of course, you want to be because I tend to be trigger happy. So thus my <laughs> thus I get a only I get a minimum of eighty five percent accuracy. Then again, you're not used to dealing with this many hunters right. in this big of a pack. That, and I was freaking out because, well, again, a accuracy. You know, you have no idea how many times I had to replay this chapter. <laughs> Try I, ten I, times just to get the S rank. I think I understand you. Oh, there's, there's another herb over there. I understand your pain there. I do. Mm -hmm. But overall, this section was fun to play. Oh, you it's got plenty of herbs. Yeah, so it's, just, it's, it's just all combat. It both allows me a chance to vent my anger and frustration on the hunters. Considering that I'm no longer hindered by the old mechanics of Resident Evil anymore. No. You're also not hindered by the mechanics of four or five either, so exactly. That, that's a kind of a nice benefit to it. Mm-hmm. What we're going to go through. Whoa! Now. The walls too. Oh, right. they have giant claws! And, oh my God! Uh, right now we'll do how to run an elevator. Then again, hunters have high intelligence. Yeah, but they. It, it still surprises me that they didn't come back sooner. Yeah. I mean, they are, you know, despite everything, they are very efficient killing machines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll buy that for a high price. <laughs> Wait, we gotta take a long way around. That was the last working elevator. How do you feel about stairs? Actually, I'm not sure how I feel about stairs. <laughs> really? <laughs> Does she hate stairs? Oh, hey! Anyway, by the way, the government handgun is actually effective on the hunters, especially oh, if yeah. especially, especially you manage to aim for the head. Ow! Be careful though, because I think hunters, if you do, if you do have, if you did suffer enough damage, they can still instant kill you. Just like they did in the classic. Except that you don't. Except you don't get decapped. You just suffer a fatal injury. But I do like the music for this one, Terra Grigia Panic 1. I, I think it was uh, Ichiro Komoto who composed this track. Hmm. Um, yeah. Shotgun shells. I wonder what weapon we'll be getting next. An M3. Which we're going to need on the Hunters especially. Yeah, it... it ooh, ah! Nice dodge! I, I almost swore that you bit that one. I I I wasn't looking. Oh wait, no. Uh, I could. I I was. I wasn't. I was not paying attention. Machine gun. Uh, yeah. Hello, friend. Yep, the M3. And we can swap weapons, of course. We, you, like I said before, you can carry up to three weapons at a time. Ooh, storage. No, the thing is, if I had gotten injured, I would have. I, I, I'd be able to use an herb. 
So no, I dodged it. And eh, that's fine. As long as we get the five herbs that we have and we're at full well, health, I, I say there's a lot of good things. Yep. Okay. Now I'm just running for the sake of running. Eh. Can't fight all the time. Besides, I want to conserve as many shotgun shells as I can. They sure give out a lot of herbs. Also. Uh, and grenades, too! Okay. And... Machine gun ammo. I'm full. <laughs> so, ah, the, the sad about thing about the belts. Mm-hmm. director? Not my type. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. I think he's in the right. Oh. He needs to stand up to General Morgan. Yeah, I agree. I think being in the FPC distorts your moral compass. Oh. You sound just like him. Yeah. <laughs> So she's like Parker. She wants to get more involved. What? Ah, I, uh, I, 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 I was trying to get past them. Trying to conserve ammo here. Even if it means having to take a hit or two. Well, thankfully they cannot open doors behind No, nope, No enemies can. They can't follow you from the, the room. That would... Well, only one. Ah! Great. I think they're almost ready to break through that door. Uh, well, just get the emergency medical hologram and have it stand its ground. Um, this is part of my program. I'm a doctor. Not a doorstop. Do a dance. Tell a story. A song. I don't care. Just give us a few seconds. Oh, this is this is kind of evil, actually. Coming up, you can actually do some very something strategic, like say, hair grenade. Kills them, kills them instantly if they're in the center of the explosion. I knew the office work was tough, but this is a little ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and yeah, oh. unlike some of the more modern games, you cannot get ammo from monsters or enemies, which is what I like. Instead, you can find it more convenient, somewhat understandable spots. As well as scanning, when you have the Genesis scanner. Though you can find herbs occasionally. Don't worry. Are you yeah. me? A dead end? Just knock it over! Uh-oh. I can get through here. Give me a hand. Okay, I'm coming. And... Oh, boy! And you just stand there while we lift the shutter. I I'm getting a 50 cent blow on the thing. Uh, again? Hey, that was one of the main things. Of the okay. Game, okay. Of you have to lift a lot of shutters. In fact, they actually determined the ending of the game. <laughs> oh, this area. This is... F no, you, you can actually do this many different ways, actually. It all involves having to stand your ground and defend yourself until the elevator arrives. Now let's do the strategy nah, that come on. I team here. up with. Since they're all going to come our way, why not get them I into a nice corridor it's where they can jump <laughs> into our line of sight of fire and just go nuts? Ooh. Anyway. Come on! Take that! <laughs> oh, nice! Ah! <laughs> He's like, it's because you're. You must really like you. It's because you're a flirt. I don't think cannibal monsters. Uh, and now, I don't, that, was, really... that, was, that was a premature grenade toss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is why I decided to save up those shotgun shells. <laughs> Take that! Nice. And no, you can actually dodge while reloading. So don't worry. Don't worry if you get caught off guard. You can still dodge. Oh! 
Come on, come on, come on. Take that! Two for one. Oh, damn. Parker. <laughs> yep. You're a beast. Of course he is. Now he only had that fire axe. He has a combat knife still. Eh. It's not much, but... Oh! Here we go again! BAM! <laughs> you're just... You're, you're just bossing them. Of course, but of course the, the hard part begins when the elevator arrives. Ah. There's too many of them! Yes, they are! Crap grenade! Nice! Uh, ow! Ah! I'm just asshole. Now I'm just gonna gun for it. Well, you know what I mean. I'm just gonna gun it. Yeah. Well, thankfully they do have delayed action, so just if need be, use uh. the use the elevator to delay them and just give yourself a bigger line of sight, I guess. Phew. Phew. That was irritating. A little bit. I, I recall how many times I died on that. I think it was like four or five. Yeah. Uh, four or five. But that was crazy. Tell me about it. I can't believe Morgan decided to fry the city with the solar energy satellite. Well. Yes. Wiped off the face of the earth. By tomorrow morning. Just like Dryfield. Will be just yeah. Well, More so than Raccoon City, though. That's still a tragedy. I hope we did. Well, just don't forget about that lobster dinner you owe me. He won't. <laughs> when have I ever gone back on my word? Well, there was that one time that you left me with a bill last time. <laughs> Get the letter. We gotta All right. Go. And that's it for this part of the episode. And now we're done with that flashback. And there's, there'll be another one in episode 11, which takes place before this one. Why is Jessica dressed up like an airport officer? <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, boy. Yep, using the power of the sun. Don't fuck with Capri's son. This could happen to you. It's triggered a chain reaction. Look, the city. Whoa. It's basically the equivalent the of a so nuclear right. explosion. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Even the hunters get fried. Ugh. That was probably for the best. Yeah. Uh. That's kind of in bad taste. It is. Very much so. Well. They were solar panel buildings. Yeah. I guess it made sense in the logical level. Well, no one's ever going to use solar energy again. No more. Not like that. We came to help. But did nothing. Hmm. Well, the thing is, it took them a full 11 years to create Terra Grigia, and now... Because of a terrorist attack, it's gone forever. Yeah, and I just barely got the S rank for this this one. I, I could just imagine you like shouting at the screen, like "Yes!" I was like, "Finally, I don't do this again." You're like, "Say, thank God." Oh wait, there's something even worse coming up ahead. Though, just like a uh, certain other game that we did last, just like Sonic Unleashed, if you seem to be having problems getting rankings, you could just restart and it will actually erase any deaths and possibly your 
It'll race your accuracy percentage too. 9 p.m. Bridge. You're not the hey. captain, are you? Uh, so? You, isn't it? <laughs> the BSAA. A little too late. What is the FBC doing here? <laughs> answer me, Raymond. He doesn't have to. have to answer anything. You have no authority over this. There's no time to fight. You've got to give it a rest. Huh? I don't even know why you're here or who you're fighting. Raymond, stop right there. I hear Nothing assassin in your voice. Unless you get your hands dirty. But I already did. I just stuck my hand in a pile of fleshy goo. He doesn't mean that. So but the FBC is on this ship too. What's going on here? We're operating without any intent. Great, flying blind. Or should I say sailing blind? And now we move on down here, which is somehow mysteriously open. Well then again, Raymond did appear from that door. He locked it from the other side. And now Vester. Yeah, Raymond Vester. For some reason I want to say Vester. <laughs> oh, Wait, that that's Babylon 5. Never mind. Nah, uh, they even wait for Walter Koenig. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. And 3%. We, we'd have a better chance with George Decay, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, oh, a wall safe, again. Remember that for, remember that for episode 7. Yeah. Since, uh, he, uh... Did uh, live oh. acting for Command and Conquer Three, uh -huh. Rising Sun. Custom parts. Nope, no scannable items in here, and shotgun shells. I need them, considering by the end of this chapter, I pretty much run dry on my shotgun. Yeah, you're going to be using your shotgun quite a bit. In fact, I accidentally dropped my shotgun for my uh, machine gun AUG. But then again, don't, don't worry, dude. An when you exchange weapons, uh, more on that later. Actually, I should mention it now. If you already have three weapons in stock and you switch weapons, your swapped weapon will automatically go back to your weapon box. Which I was like, I was like, thank you because. Ugh. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I was like, thank you because you know at the time I'm like, am I going to get a new shotgun or? Is it just going to... Oh, and then I see it back in the box. I'm like, thank Ooh, you. History of the Queen Zenobia. Wow. Electric diesel propulsion, huh? Paragus Line flagship was constructed in 1978, based on blueprints left by George Trevor before his disappearance. Ha! Huh. Told ya. The golden age of cruise ships, huh? After Zenobia of the Palmarine Empire, who was deposed by the Romans. Ah, the ship is also no as the beauty of the Atlantic. Expect this game to have plenty of typos, folks. <laughs> yeah, I Oh, I oh, oh, that. It, was, it was meant to be junk it was destined to be junked, huh? Along with her sister ship. But she was overhauled. By the Paraguayas line or yeah, the Paraguas? Paraguas line, yeah. This, so as a fully functional luxury liner li luxury liner. Oh, so she was gonna have her main harbor in the Mediterranean for her cruises around Africa. Huh. And guess where we'll be going next in the timeline continuity? Africa. Huh. What's this? Scribble discarded message. Oh god, please help me. This can't be happening. Don't leave me to die in this hell. I'm trapped here. There are sponsors here. Real ones. Everyone's there dying. And uh, Basically, that was just his dying words. Uh, some of them will actually note that they'll, like, note that they did commit suicide because they'd rather die as human. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that doesn't really matter with the ooze, though. All right. you got to find Ray. Yeah. How do you know? Because the ooze will just take whatever fluids that they have, and you'll reanimate anyway. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, great. And we're in a dead corner. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Oh. They're gonna get me. Not gonna get us. 
Oh yes, now I have, uh, I can now carry a maximum of 50 rounds, apparently. I, I think, like, let's see, for machine gun, you begin with 80 rounds. Somewhere around those lines. Anyway, I believe we should go to the upper cabin. One of the cabins, of course, has that shotgun. I believe it was in the upper cabins. Yeah, I, I believe so. That's where we were... Oh, yeah. And, oh, wait. Besides, there's one room we got to try out. This one. Ooh. First one thing. Uh, and nothing else. Illegal custom parts! Oh, boy. We're going to get hounded by the patrols. All right. Yeah, but then again, we're the BSAA. Apparently, we can use those no matter what happens. Uh, on site pickup. <laughs> yep. Uh, weapons and equipment OSP. On site procurement. Standard procedure. Mm hmm. Yep. So, unlike Snake, we actually do come with a gun. Yeah. And, uh, anyway, let's use the, qu the crest uh, here and uh, we grab our shotgun now. Shiny. The Windham! And the room. Um. No. That was not what I was expecting. Eh. Alright, and the Windham comes equipped with only one bullet. <coughs> and I can only load four shells at a time right now. But we can change that with um, upgrades. So thankfully we've been picking up a few shells here and there. Mm-hmm. Now but yeah, now we have shotgun. Shotgun is gonna yeah. be quite useful. Of course. But now in an RE where the shotgun's not that useful. Well, then again, it's not gonna be that useful from long range. Of course. Oddly enough, the shotguns in six actually had power at long range. Huh. Might have been oversight. Mm. Either that, or it was a specific brand of shotgun that could be used for long range. Mm. All right. Now we must head to the communications room. We and can, I we... sense more ooze coming up. Yeah. We... Oh, first we can upgrade. Picked up damage two, burst one. Ah, okay. That's upgrade to win him. Ah, yes. More power, please. As for this one, first one. Two consecutive shots with one trigger pull. Which can be useful, but at the same time, it can also hurt your accuracy rating by mm. accident. Mm hmm. I actually stopped using the burst because it just didn't seem to do any more damage than just the one shot that I have. Same. I got rid of the, my handgun altogether after a while. Once I once I started having a machine gun, that is. Uh, I I just kept it on hand because the game would often like, give me a few rounds here and there, and I'd oh. it generally would be my default weapon. Great! Now we have tricorn oozes. These guys use projectile attacks, and we have another herb. Sweet. We need it. Alright, let's kill this other ooze up here. And scan him too. N uh, <laughs> I feel like giving the wind him a, t a test drive. And those ones are generally very weak to just yeah. about anything. Yeah, they're, really. they're the weakest breed of ooze. In fact, if you really want to be daring, just like take a few pot shots with your pistol and just knife the bastards. Then again. They to... can knock you back with their yeah, with their arrow arm, but you can stun them, I think. But if you manage to destroy their projectiles with your knife, you get a trophy. I never got to do that yet. But you did. No. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I guess oh. I saw you do it. Now this this is the hall. This is what I call a cruise ship. It's like an opera house in here. Yeah. So, where is this emergency communication? But yeah, first we wanted to visit the, uh, some, some other place. Oh, first off, I gotta read this note. No one gets even out of my permission, not without my key. Find me a mutual spot in the promenade deck. 
<laughs> yeah, because at least I can find food there. <laughs> Your friendly neighborhood comms officer. <laughs> But before we, oh, so got to find a got to find a communication room key. But before we do that, we also got to do something else. We got to do a little bit of raiding around here, as well as ha as, well, as well as handprint scanning. And trust me, this place is freaking huge and impressive. Imagine, I remember what this looked like on the 3DS. Uh, on the 3DS, it looks just as beautiful. Even though I think the 3DS version is slightly brighter, though. Yeah, it was like a an example of how the game looked on the 3DS. Yeah, I think that they showed it off at like E3 as a demo. Yeah. Kind of a video camera show. And it's like, of, of course, it looks a lot better here. Yeah. I don't know. The 3DS looks slightly brighter, so I mm. guess for me, the 3DS looks. Slightly better, but I guess I don't. Know. Then again, on my 3DS, it's dark. Must be because the XL doesn't have a bright screen. Uh. Which means I can't play it outside, obviously. Ah, uh, that's the thing I can't stand about the Vita is the fact that you can't see it if you try to watch something. Anyway, the solarium, so solarium, or whatever. Anyway, now we have to wait for this. Take a drink. And what? What the? I don't remember those. I don't either. But I don't remember this section. But then again, I got to this section very a little later than I should have. Yeah, though that. Happens to be a new enemy in this version of the game. No way I'm getting in that. Don't wanna go diving in that. Yeah. These are what's known as wall blisters. Oh? Oh. There's, huh. a, there's another uh, pile of flesh we can scan. I think that you can get like about a hundred percent here if oh. you're lucky. Oh, ninety-five percent. We're falling. Or at least herbs. close to. Yeah, I think well, the next room you can. Yeah, we're falling herbs anyway. But yeah, I recommend you come here early, right? Here, as early as this visit. All right, this one takes a while apparently. <laughs> Oh wait, uh... You're crossing the streams. Yeah, so I noticed. Okay, uh... See, so uh... No... There we go. Uh, that, okay, that works, yeah. And in here is... Uh, now I need a handprint. Yeah, I recall that one. A cu but we also got custom parts, we can purify the pool, and... We also grab a rifle! Which I seldomly use them because they're kind of unwieldy in the 3DS versions. Mm -hmm. Filtration's gonna take a while. Should have known. I'll come back. It's gonna take at least an episode or so. Yeah, it will. And by this point, at that point, the wall blisters will begin to hatch. At least one of them will. Though thankfully, I don't have to deal with them in the 3DS version. No, I do. They're not that difficult. Except their only attack is they run at you and they catch you, they instant kill you. Aww. But they're very weak. They're glass cannons, technically. Oh, okay. So I guess it's it's a nice balance, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Alright then. We gotta head to the promenade. Wait. So we, maybe we could visit Quark's bar. Well, let's go raid the Davo tables. Davo! Ooh, <laughs> another weapon and box. And oddly, there is a casino here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I suppose that's possible. Hey, 
long magazine one. We can increase the wind's uh, capacity and the fire rate. Which is definitely a good idea. Yeah, you have no idea how many times I tried to restart this episode. Only like maybe two or three times. Alright. Had to do a little cough there. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. About two or three times. Uh, I, I'm not doubting you there. What, what are you coughing about? Just because it didn't take you that long? No, I, I actually had to cough. <laughs> okay. Wait, I was like, I, I, wait I, a minute. I turned uh, off my mic for a minute, okay? Okay. For a second. I was like, wait, actually, this is actually the wrong way. It's, it's actually below, on the first floor. I know I went the wrong way plenty of times in this section. Mm-hmm. But I do like I I, 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 I don't I don't like the steering wheels though. They take fucking forever in the three DS version. Oh wait, wait. Wrong way. It, it's like Metroid Prime 3 corruption's load time with, with the doors. <sighs> Which that was actually fixed in trilogy. All right. Anyway, that's now we need to head to the first floor. First floor, not the third floor. Fool. But then again, there may have been. Nah, I don't think there are any handprints left to scan. Okay. Wait, well, even though it's you know it's like my third time on this chapter, I still forget things. And you're also relatively kind of blind. Yeah. Here we go, the promenade. <sighs> well, maybe we could run into good old Garrick. Plain simple Garrick. You can't tell folks are trackies. <laughs> what the? And you're pulling out the rifle. I'm testing it out. The hot wheel. What? Do you hear that? I don't want to hear that. Sounds like someone's in pain. Sounds like somebody had a bad night at the Roxbury. The voice is extremely distorted, like... For some reason, it kind of reminds me of Salazar in his mutated form. Mm. Oh, rifle ammo. In the, in the 3DS version, that's where you get the rifle. And it has a weapon box, as too, as, as well as... Oh dear. Alright, let's test out this rifle. And... Oh, oh you, mi you missed, pal! Take that. One at, shot. At this point, the rifle is my most powerful weapon. Two shots. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Sadly, I, as I said, I don't use the rifle that much because of mostly the 3DS itself. And I got, I, I got our nerve in reserve. Really? Yes. It goes straight into the box. No, it goes. My Genesis is still uh, holding it. Oh. Because cool. if, if you have full herbs and you scan 100%, you may notice. See, herbal herbs are full. And what's in here? Shotgun ammo case. Yeah, we're definitely going to need that because otherwise our otherwise our capacity would be very low. Shut up! We'll help you out. Here we go. I had to edit because I, I discovered something. If you if you do die and you don't continue. Uh, is that you just reload from your autosave? The game will not count that in terms of deaths. I, I guess you could say I cheated this game out of a death. And thus, in the end of the game, I still got the surviving Deep Darkness trophy. Which, <laughs> which is beat the game on normal or higher without dying. Or, continu or without continuing. Yeah, I'm stocking up a forehand. Whoa. There's <laughs> a lot of the random bottles falling, or at least the sound effects of that. 
But anyway, we're stuck here now. This is our arena for a big fight coming up. Uh -huh. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Bad idea, though. Ah! Holy mother of fuck! What the uh, fuck is that thing? A skank dead! This is our chainsaw enemy of the game, guys. And guess it's, what? It's rather cheap! And guess what? It's got an endless spawn of ooze to try to kill us. Yeah, it'll back... Yeah, it can summon back up repeatedly. Fortunately, it's vulnerable to real WD coins. This, but this particular skag dead will mutter words. Which thankfully oh. makes it slightly. Uh, actually, it makes it pretty fucking creepy. Yeah. Get off. Get off. Get off me, vagina face. Eh? Eh! Oh. Uh, I'm gonna risk it! Take that! Eh? I'm not sure how effective this will attack Sergeant someone. Now that- well! Ah! Now I can actually get that herb I was holding on to. But yeah, there's not much Parker can do to help us, so... Then again, he, I don't think he has a shot. Oh, wait, then again, he can serve to draw their fire sometimes. Okay. Oh, you missed. Uh, trust me. Physical attacks do hurt it quite a bit. It's just that we're going to run out of explosive canisters. Uh, th this is worse than fighting the, the chainsaw on the genies. It is, it is. At this in this game in this fight I run out of shotgun shells. Stop it. Yeah, he just said that. Uh yeah, you're about as human as uh not the rest of the freaks. There. Die there die oh, have all those bear traps. No, it wasn't it was just ooze uh ooze carcasses. But anyway, the, the skag dead can pretty much do a berserker chainsaw attack, which will introduce you to danger. Or it will also just outright kill you. Yeah, and it will also use bear traps that it will fire out of its own monster maw. But here's a here's a here's a trick you can do. Hop between hop between that so that you can force it to take the long way around. Eventually, uh, yeah. And there's the other oozes that you gotta deal with. Fortunately, they're weak to my shotgun. Uh, they're they're firing all kinds of crap at us. I know. Okay. Uh, for shooting gallery. Uh, great. I should have used my rifle for this. I don't know how you could have. Yeah, There's crap. too fucking many of them! Yes. Trust me, the rifle is very powerful. Oh yeah, there's one thing, another thing this guy will do. Fire bear traps, like I said. The bear, the bear traps will, will damage you. And you will pretty much be immobilized. And then they could kill you just like that. Yeah. Uh, eh. Are we almost? Are we? Are we almost done? No. No. We had. We had to do another pass before we do so. Well, thankfully, we can move and reload. Thank God. Oh. Oh dear! Nice dodge. Ah. Asshole. I hated doing this. I really do. I think this was the section that gave me the most death. Although, in oddly enough, way. oddly enough, on my 3DS version, I did a lot better. I managed to hold on to my herbs. 
and, and not use as much ammo. Oh, good for you. Tell me about it. <laughs> Ow. I, I wish that... Okay, seriously. We don't need this mean motherfuckers around here. He's hard enough. <laughs> Just die, cock fuck, die! And I'm out of shotgun shells. Yeah. This bat this was a clusterfuck. See ah oh, crap, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I get there. However, if you, if you manage to evade a Skag Dead's instant death attack, you will get a trophy for that. Known as Die Another Day. <laughs> Come on. But tomorrow never dies. Gotcha! And now we just gotta finish off the rest. Oh. Uh, not now! Well, we can now check uh, his former room and get some stuff. Some stuff. But Jesus Christ! And we're out of herbs. And shotgun shells! Uh, I don't want to use my rifle. Oh, fine, I'll get closer. Thankfully, they're shitty shots. Mostly. Then again, then again we're, we're protected by the railing. Unfor True. Unfortunately, I did not manage to, s to scan a skag dead. Oh, I got a trophy. BLW Hunter. Well, not this one, anyway. No. You know what? Is that the key to the emergency yeah, it is. Room? Yeah. Let's leave this monster infested hellhole. But not yet. But yeah, I'm going to check out the rest of the areas first. What, are, what else I can unlock with this? This just pretty much leads to a minor shortcut that you can take back to the main area. Yeah, but before we do that, there's there's two there's another handprint I forgot to scan, which is upstairs in Skag Dead's room. Which oh. I do believe I did get. Yeah, yeah, I forgot to grab it. I gotta go back and get it. <sighs> I, I think if I recall, I died six times to that thing while I was eating lunch at work. And yeah, I did better on the 3DS version. Go figure. Irony's a bitch for me, I swear. Yeah, it is. And I can't... Aw, oh, it's handgun ammo. Bah! Ooh, communication. Th those, those boxes are random ammo, by the way. So this is the comm officer's journal. Yeah, what are you gonna do? If, by the way, folks, if I if I go too fast for you, just pause and read it, or any any of the files I read. Yeah, day four. Oh boy, he lasted that long. Uh, how many days? I found so so happy. It's a lot of jokes. This face is too close to my face. Okay, yeah, this is kind of referencing the keeper's diary as well. Mayday! Mayday! Yeah, May that was a comm officer. Yeah. Poor bastard. He got the worst fate of them all. And there was also, just to make your life slightly annoying, another... Yep. Uh, ...fire canister. Mm hmm And now we have to go take a slightly different way around. Yep. Uh, anyway... The Skag Dead itself is actually something that is uh, a rare occurrence with this new virus we're investigating. It's actually a 1 in 1,000 chance, so you're not going to be dealing with them too often. And besides, they usually have like high resistance to the virus, but not immunity. Ah. Ah. So, this is actually a great boon, actually. What we're doing right now, since we could, we don't have to do this later. No.
There we go. Okay. Now we can leave that nightmare behind us. Let us Just be happy that the other skag deads don't do that. Yeah. Let us never speak of that ever again. Though I think the other skag deads are slightly. Ooh! Weaker. Treasure trove of ammo and grenades! Do not collect it yet! Oh? Even the green herb is tempting, but do not grab it yet. Why so? Wait until episode 7. Fuck. Trust me, you need the ammo. Oh, and there is magnum ammo, actually. But I'm not grabbing it yet. I hate myself. You grabbed the ammo, didn't you? No, I... Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, I was kind of desperate at the time because I ran out because of motherfucker. Fair enough. Fortunately, uh... Ho hopefully you'll, you'll be fine. Uh, yeah... Oh, traces of tragedy. Yeah, you got 15. Yep, we're halfway done. Oh, wait. Halfway done? <laughs> halfway done with the handprints, yes. Oh, okay. I meant, I meant, yeah, we gotta go to the, to the promenade deck again. Let's see. Nope, nothing new here. No. So, yeah, the deck is where we gotta go to at the end of, ep at the halfway point of episode 7. Hmm. Nope, back to the promenade. And then to the communications room. But there you go, folks. That's actually a hint to, uh, you know, how to actually restock if you're that desperate. But turns out I didn't need to worry. I, I ended up getting enough ammo to still survive. And yet I, I was still able to restock in there. Oh, random bottle smashing. <laughs> Jesus, Parker, how many... <laughs> How much of the sauce are you going to knock back during this? I know this sucks. Then, but... then again, uh, it, and you get S rank with Parker. He says, "So we gonna go grab a drink?" No. <laughs> <laughs> then again, a then again, after the events of Terra Grigia, he became a drunk, and then obviously sobered up and joined the BSAA. For the most part. Yep. I think he probably now practices steady. Safe drinking. Yeah. I hope the equipment in that room will work. <laughs> Don't jinx us now. Your bad predictions tend to come true. It, it's what do you mean by that? <laughs> it's called foreshadowing. Oh. So you must have learned it from Saiten Uzuki and Sino's gears, didn't you? Must have a PhD. No, then again, uh. It's Jill's nature to be skeptical. Ah, uh, true. Actually gave her some character compared to Chris in the older game. Hmm. Not to mention, uh, we just... Well, not to mention, it, it, it did help her survive Raccoon City. This track... Yeah. This track reminds me of Parasite Eve. Somewhat, doesn't it? Anyway, we made it! Um... It reminds me of the Opera House. Yeah, sorta. Of. Raymond! Oh. Everybody loves him. Looks like we both were too late. Not really. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, great. Somebody beat us to the punch. What the? More quoting of, of the you. Divine Comedy. Look. Well, that is, that is if you've been paying attention on the 3DS version. Little masked friend. But if I words be seed that may bear fruit of infamy to the traitor whom I know, speaking and weeping shall thou see together. I know not who thou art, nor by what mode thou hast come down here. The world is in our hands. Mm. This is the tea of this virus. That is a combination of a virus found in the ocean 
as well as a resequence T. Which is how they're able to use hunters. Yeah, apparently so. And this is exactly what the T Abyss can do. Obviously, the world will become infected. We are Veldra. Vengeful messengers for the depths of the Inferno. Ah. Uh. So this is our man. I knew it was Veltro. The former NBC chief? No. Abandon hope. He's quoting down. An NBC, but... Send a team to Valkyrie no. and Mark Airport. Not FBC. There's something linked to this ship over here. Oh, yeah. Yes, I that was Jack Norman, the the I'll leader of Veltro. What? You two, get ready to move. Huh. Oh, I hate snow. <laughs> snow <hits you. laughs> yeah, Keith Lumley and Clint Ketchum. You can on Veltro. They're polar opposites, and yet they work well as a team. What? Well, let's just go with our new nickname. <laughs> the Vulcan Skull of the BSAA. <laughs> and oddly. You're going to enjoy them in, I believe, I the episode like five. Yep, and episode nine. Be patient. Oh God. A ship at sea is like Jessica's a ridiculous <laughs> outfit taste. No <laughs> Take center stage. Look at the leg area and Are then laugh the your ass off. It's exposed. <laughs> one leg is completely covered. The other one, not. Oh. <laughs> Did, did, did she take her, like, her dressing tips from, like, Mortal Kombat characters? I don't know. That ends episode three. And look at that! 91. Yeah, we'll find you, Jill. And 88%, we got an S rank. Oh, 150 enemies gives you a new handgun. And scanning 15 handprints gives me the PSG-1 sniper rifle. The handgun is actually slightly weaker than what we got now. Yeah, I prefer the current bolt action one. It actually saves my life quite a few times. See you next time for episode 4, which is just by itself, one episode. But it's there that, it's there that uh, things begin to pick up. Oh yeah. See you next time. Salutations. And, and watch out for hunters. Oh, and whatever else the TBS virus will throw at us. Yes. Sure. Day. Day. Day.